Hey guys, Matt Botterford here from Laser Everything to talk to you about how you can create a Google profile and help bring people to your website and put money in your pocket. So stay tuned and find out more. So I'll put the links in the description later so you guys can find those. Uh, but once you're here, you're gonna see, it says standout Google with a free business profile, manage now. Okay, so we've got our laser business name here now. The next thing we need to do is think about what's the business category. So you can add and change more later, but this is really important because this is what people are searching for online and how they're gonna find you. So we're gonna type in laser engraving or laser engraver, or most likely, see we got laser cutting services. So laser engraving will be the best option for us here. So we click next. We didn't understand, so let's just do this. Laser cutting service, there you go. So do you wanna add a location? Customers can visit like a store or office. If you've got a location, great. If not, most of you here are probably still working out of your garage or doing this as a hobby, but you want people to be able to find you. So uh, it wants to know my location. And so let's just say, that we're in Tampa, Florida, USA, right? So click next. Also just to go back, this says any areas that you're willing to travel or to deliver services will appear here. So we can add a few more. So I'm next to St. Pete, Florida. I'm uh, next to, uh, let's say I'm willing to drive to Orlando, Florida. So all of these are the different places that it'll create a map when anyone searches for laser cutting or laser engraving, then they'll find you, okay? So we'll just use those three main cities. All right, next it's asking us what region is our business based in? So we are in the US, our contact information. All right, so there we go. Our current website laserbusiness.com next now notice that all of these things are asking you if you're willing to share them you may not have a website yet and that's fine it could also be a link to your Facebook page uh, it's whatever works for you so do you want updates and recommendations for your business on Google I'm gonna click no because basically they're trying to do some advertising um, they want you to buy ads, right? So whenever you do a Google search, you guys know that the first ones that pop up are ads. So um, enter your mailing address to verify. So just putting in an address to show you guys how this works. We'll pick a random one near me in Florida. Uh, if I click next, like we just did before, it's gonna give us the option to start filling this in and filling out how to verify if we wanna get a text message um, or a phone call that's automated where it'll give us a code and then once we give them that code it would punch it in so that's where you can do that or you can verify by email as well where they'll literally send you something saying tell us this is you uh, but for the sake of today we're gonna also just look at how you can verify this later because maybe you don't have all of those things yet um, so the next thing is adding your business hours right so that's pretty important you notice that by toggling the days on, it also gives you opportunities to say 24 hours you can reach me or to choose the times that you feel like are best. So let's come up here, open 24 hours. We'll just make it really easy for us. Contact us whenever. So this is a really cool option. It lets uh, customers message your business for free, obviously as it says. And so you can click the learn more tab here and pretty much how to read and reply to messages for your profile. It talks about storing messages. There's really lots of different opportunities here for you to scroll through and read uh, and to discover on your own. I don't want to take up too much time just reading for you. So next up, you can add a business description here. Um, this is really important because basically it says by adding a description to your business profile, um, that's going to help people find you on Google services. So this is where you would type in a small article about your business, maybe focusing on it, but you do have a limit of 750 characters down here. So make sure you're aware of that. Now this is what's cool. This is where you can add photos of your business. 
Uh, your photos appear on search maps and other Google services. So that's really important. So this is where you can drop, drag and drop photos here, um, or you can look on your computer. And so this is where you could actually come in, you can go to your desktop, you can find some different things for maybe, um, you know, you've got a, a business logo um, or whatever it is that you want to put there. Okay. So let's just say for today's sake, let's just be lions. Let's go nuts. All right. Now this is where I was trying to tell you they really want to uh, get you going with advertising. And obviously it is a free service from Google so they need to eat too. So it says start advertising your business with Google Ads, claim your credit or skip. I'll leave that up to you. I've never claimed my credit so if you find out let me know. So your business profile is almost ready. Awesome. Now the one thing that I can't show you here because I can't access it is basically that to prove that you live at the address that you live at, they're going to send you a card in the mail and it's gonna be, it's gonna take about five to 10 days to get to you. And when you get that card on the card, there's actually another code. So that proves that you live at the physical address. Otherwise, they really can't prove that it's you um, for example, if you owned a shop, you wouldn't want someone to say that was your address or if it was someone else's home randomly, you wouldn't want to do that, right? So here's what's really cool about this. And so you can kind of see here's all the information that people see. This is how people find you. If you were going to do an ad, it would look like this, all of that stuff. But really the insights is what's really cool. So uh, my goal this year was to be more seen on the internet and to be found easier. Last year, I spent a lot of time getting my physical space ready to work, but this year I'm trying to get people to see me. So it says your insights are moving. It will get a new report and the search queries are visible. But in one month, there have been people who found my business searching for my business by name or address. So 14 people found it by name, typing it in. Uh, but then there were 421 people this month who found it for searching for a category, a product, or a service near me. And so this is where it's really cool when you start to see that there's 421 people in a month who found you by Googling something, whether it be tumblers, cups, whatever they found you. This is where you might think, hmm, I need to spend some money here, right? So start advertising now and that way you will pop up on the, on the list of people who are gonna be seen first. So this is really cool too, where customers are viewing your business on Google. And so you can actually go, so the listing on a search, right, listings on maps. So a lot of people are searching and then apparently here right around <laughs> the day before Valentine's Day, a lot of people are looking for stuff on maps. So they're trying to find something near them close because, oh dear God, I need something now, right? So customer actions, and again, this is all stuff that you can read on your own. But what's really neat is they visited my website, I got a call on February 6th, and so you can see, um, and actually this turned into a job, so it was really cool. Seven people visited my website, and uh, one person called me, and that actually turned into a job for about 300 bucks, so that was really cool. And I had a second job uh, before this, it, way back here, um, that just came from out of the blue, right? Got a phone call, bam. So again, Photo views, so what's really cool is this actually tells you how many people are looking at your photos. So not only did they see you, um, but the number of times your business photos have been viewed. And so you can see that on each day, there's a multitude of people um, viewing the pictures that you post. So it might be people who uh, are trying to find you. It might be just people who typed in laser engraving, and it might even be your people who work near you just trying to see what are you up to, right? So the number of photos that appeared on my business compared to photos from other businesses. Uh, customer photos, so far there's only been a couple of customer photos and the other nine are from me. So really need to, that's kind of showing me I need to push to get some more customer photos from people who have created stuff, right? So really good information there on the insights page. Um, it takes a couple of months to have this have a lot of value to you, but this really starts to let you see people are looking 
for you know the different types of things that I do. Here's what that turned into. And then the other thing is photos are important. People really wanna see the work that you put out. Uh, so don't forget to start taking pictures and be adding them to your information page up here. Okay, so let's go over the next two most important ones, reviews. So you guys know reviews can make or break your business. Um, it's really important to make sure that you encourage people to leave a review. Um, it would be even smart to, if you've got some type of business card, to have like a review QR code, a link that brings it back here. Um, fortunately for me, I've had some really good reviews so far, and that's led to some a 5.0. Uh, so people can find me. However, just like on any of the things that you probably found, there is an opportunity for you to reply. So if you feel like um, I've, I've made sure to say thank you to the people um, because it's a really quick thing. They're saying how much they appreciate what you've done. Either throw them a thank you or hopefully it doesn't happen. But if a negative review is there, maybe you want to be able to you know, throw in your two cents because every side has two stories. So calls and messages are kind of a no-brainer here, but photos is the easy one that you, you need to have it, right? So basically, this is one of those things, you know, make sure that you've got photos because whatever people are looking for, this is their chance to find it, right? So take a look at this. My guess is, and this is what's really cool, you can actually start to see what people are looking for. So tumblers are huge, 466 views in 10 weeks, um, 253 views on signs for whatever occasion. Uh, nobody really cared about these. And then the footballs. So I've had a couple of coaches who have reached out just because they saw that. Um, so that lets me know tumblers, signage, and leather goods, right? So just saying this is the kind of thing that helps you to figure out what people are looking for in your area or what they're searching for just by looking at those numbers, which is really important because if you created an ad, that might be the photo that you use to get people to come to your service, right? So products, you can create a products page, and this is where once they click on your business, they can actually buy things right there from the page. Uh, services, now this is really important. Um, services are the way that people find you. So you really want to make sure that you add those in there and make sure that they're correct and what you want people to like use as search words, right? The keywords. Google Business is looking to help you create a website because it's going to help them get ads and revenue for everybody. So it's kind of win-win. If you're not sure how to make a website, this is a great opportunity to use something that's already there. Um, it does, it is going to cost you some money. So they're trying to show you how you can get that. And what's really cool is the stuff that you've already done up here, they take and bring into here. So you've got get a quote, you've got some photos, some updates, testimonials from my people. People can come in here and write a review or read more. You've got an about us page, a gallery for your work. And then basically how to get in contact. And really that's it. That's the majority of what you need um, for people to find. Uh, a lot of people aren't trying to order things from their phone. They're just trying to find the people. Um, so at least in my experience so far. But this is a great way for someone who's running a small business to have people find you, know what you make, where to find you, how to contact you, and get your business hours. So now let me show you what that looks like. So if I typed in laser engraving near me, I go click on the maps, right? So we'll click view all. And there I am, I'm the fifth one. So these are some larger companies around me that you can see they've got 27, 18, a couple more people who are up here at the top have um, quite a few more people than me and that's fine. I literally just made this, but either way I pop up and when you click on it, it's everything that we just talked about, right? So they'll be able to find my website, they can save or call me, look at reviews, all of that stuff is all right there. 
So guys, just wanted to say thank you for showing up and taking a listen to the information I had to share about that. Hopefully it was useful to you. Um, just remember, it's free, it's very easy, and also what's really cool is if you're struggling at any time, you can feel free to reach out to me or any of the other admin and moderators on our staff. But also feel free to reach out to Google. Like They literally have an investment in your time in joining this group uh, of people using business profiles. So a couple of other things really quickly I wanted to share. If you're looking for another way to contact and work with us, uh, you can come onto the Laser Everything Discord. It's free. You can talk to any of the people who are usually online. We've got some really great people there, Laser Master Academy members, and really just people who are there to kind of talk and share information. So we have all kinds of stuff from fiber to CO2 down to diode and other different types of devices. Um, another thing to share with you is that we have the Laser Everything official Facebook group that's about to break a thousand members, which is pretty cool and exciting. Um, it's a really positive place where we try really hard to uh, do our best to help you guys find the answers you need, but really um, just to help find each other too. So lots of different opportunities for you to come and share in that. Uh, and then there's also the opportunity, if you ever wanted to, to go into the Laser Master Academy. Um, and there's links for that in the Discord, and usually Alex has it in all of his videos. I'll make sure that I post it in this one as well. All right, guys, so thanks for joining me here on one of the first videos for Laser Everything Else. Um, make sure that if you haven't, to look down in the links below and come join us, and I look forward to talking with you more. Have a great day, and see you in the next one.